you know what, guys? You know, I think uh, I need a good aesthetics person to look at my face. <laughs> really? Don't you think so? I think so. I think so. so, you know. I think I mean, to be really I good to Look at the two of you. Look at the two of you. Look at this guy's face. Look at you. I mean, you guys look so far better than me. Thank you. I need a butt job. I need a neck job. I need a, I need a whole damn works, man. I think I'm beyond redemption. You know we're rolling. I know we're rolling. Uh, uh, hi, everybody, and welcome <laughs> to this episode of In Our Humble Opinion. And it's yo -yo yo -yo time again. <laughs> And yeah, I had to start that show that this way because you know bad hair day. I put on the damn cap, face all upside down, left, right, and center. But these two always looking so damn refreshed. I just don't understand Thank why. You. Thank you. But you know what, guys? Today we'll be talking. Um, I mean, the catchphrase for this particular episode is called "It's party time." With an I. It's uh huh party time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we will talk about uh, that at length uh, for this episode, and also we'll be talking about. Um, Something that someone we've always seen on TV some time ago, but has been in Parliament also for some mm -hmm. time. And he had this real wonderful speech he gave. Is it right for me to use the term speech, Gilbert, yes. when you're delivering something in Parliament? Yeah, yeah, it's a speech. Yeah, okay. It's a speech. This was marvelous. It was a marvelous speech in Parliament, and that's uh, MP Daryl David. Mm -hmm. um, and also, we'll be covering uh, this issue about logo design contests. So let's start with that particular topic. A local designer's thoughts on recent logo design competitions. And this person's been saying that, you know what? <sighs> you want cheap jobs or free jobs done, creative work done, you come up with competitions like this. Does this cheapen? No. No? No. No, you think not, why not? Okay, first of all, okay, just to bring everyone up to speed, um, a local designer, commented, uh, I think it was on Reddit, about how, is it a she? It's a she, she, right? Did not like logo competitions because it's a way for companies or institutions or whatever to get uh, designers to work for free and to give away a price and to get uh, designers to work for free. Um, you know, I disagree with this simply because uh, I understand the value of intellectual property. I understand the value of creative work. Um, in this case, though, it's entirely up to a person whether they want to enter. And with the one that she was talking in, in specifically, uh, I think it was the Sengkang Town Council, Correct. one of those that she braced up, and the Pasir Ris one, they specifically mentioned there that it's only open to amateurs and not Absolutely. to professionals. Absolutely. So they're not trying to get a professional design studio to come and give them a free design. It is, I think, however, very important, is a way for young up-and-coming designers to put this onto their resume and to be able to get exposure. And I think that's so important because if you're a young designer and you, you know, you're one of many out there, you want to be able to win a competition. You want to be able to compete, be a finalist because this is very valuable uh, for, for, for young designers. So I actually think it's a positive thing. I don't think at all it's a, it's a cheap way uh, uh, of getting uh, designs. I do think, however, that prices should be probably make sure that it's good so that it's worth it for these young designers mm. uh, to, to enter. What do you mm. think, Daisy? Well, I, I maybe understand where she's coming from. Yes. But like you correctly said, it's very different when you do something for the community mm -hmm. versus doing something commercial. Yes. Okay. Yes. So if it's a commercial enterprise like Coca-Cola and they're going to take your design and put it in the back of a T-shirt and make tons of yes, money. Yes. 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 I understand. Yes. That. But when you use the word community mm -hmm. and amateur, you're looking at celebrating yes. your people together. And I think there's one important, important point because when she mentions the word amateur, yes. now, and she compares it with having, you know, you can have, why don't, why doesn't this happen with a doctor or with a plumber? Now, the fact of the matter is that there are some areas where amateurs you know, can yeah, you be, they, they can be contests. They yes. can be singing, they can be dancing, they can yes. be acting. There's no amateur doctors. Yes, and there's no <laughs> amateur plumbers. Yes, That's it. or pilots. So, or pilots, yes. absolutely. So hell, uh, unfortunately, however much it hurts, you can have amateur designers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, and she says it herself inside there is that if you don't like it, then don't take part. Lah, you know, basically, don't have to make such a big fuss yeah. about this, I think. But the thing is, I love the idea, in fact, that you have a logo, right? And you want your students your community, your people to contribute to, to it. And, and it and came it. from not an agency you paid money for, Correct. but from the community. From and what happens if you get a fancy agency and the community is like, huh? 
Yeah. What the exactly. hell is this? I think this our, 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 our guy in the center wants yes. to say something. I was just like wondering. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering when the two adults you, you, are going to let you the child can, speak. You, actually, you, you can <laughs> butt in any time. <laughs> Don't but laugh. Lift that. I, I, oh, oh, almost six months butt. working with you two jokers, yeah. I've learned to just sit back, relax, and let you all talk first. Okay. No, no. It's a good thing. It's a good thing because why? I agree with your point of view, and particular to this article um, from on Reddit, right? Mm. Uh, and, and likewise, I agree with you as well. But but here's the th- here's this is the th- a first. Eh? Here is where I I need to tell <laughs> you why. Cheers. <laughs> this is not the first. Like, you're stuck in the two of you. Of See, I like, am. I get stuck between the two of you. <laughs> yeah, stuck in the middle with you. Okay, so. You're so lucky. <laughs> One can surmise that. Yeah, Chris Sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Chris Sandwich. Wow, that's a good name, <laughs> huh? Yeah. 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 What well, that's a what well, is a good crack? You it's know, you just made. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'm learning. My dear. Uh, scholarly <laughs> friends um, Here is what's been happening The reason why this person picked up on this And it's been going on Even before I've been on this show Amongst not just the creative circle Like this, these guys create, you know, Graphic designers or The freelance circle People who do a lot Some creative work Whether it is music Whether mm-hmm. it is hosting Or mm-hmm. any work like that yeah. A lot of companies and establishments l- began to use this term exposure mm-hmm, mm-hmm. way too often mm-hmm. to the point where they say things come and do it for bono it's good exposure for you it's yeah. always uh, about that that's different no no i know what i'm okay. saying is, yeah. is yeah. that the reason why this person you know the way i read it yeah. got to this stage and decided to write this down yeah. is because there's maybe been hit to way too often mm. with this sort of you know exposure yeah. cell that's yeah. been been going around. Um, I, I I know you're right, both of you. It's a, it, it, it did it, it did say it's for amateurs. Yeah. Uh, it did say that you know it is also of course if you, especially if you are living in, in that town council or within yes, the GRC the community and yeah. you do it for the community. That's all cool. Yeah. That's all cool. Yeah. I'm not disputing that. Yeah. But what gave rise to this? In my mind, it is because of this um, um, exposure cell that's mm. been going mm. around, and it's been mm. a long yeah. Time. And actually, but that when you mention sorry, when you mention that, I I think we go back to last week's episode mm-hmm. where we were talking about you know locals getting chance of working with MNCs and all that, yep. and the same uh, we were talking about the same kind of thinking where employers would turn around and say, "Come in." work with us even if it is for less money mm-hmm. you will get good exposure mm-hmm. yeah. but but that's a totally different yeah. subject we're talking about professionals yeah and let's not forget amateurs. also the other thing is kind of related to this is what irks a lot of people as companies is when influencers go to them and say Can- give me a free trip give me a free this give me a free stay i'll expose your brand to my followers mm, mm, you know mm, mm, and mm. that irks a lot of companies as well because you know for example restaurant owners will say it cost me money to come up with the food i'm not going to give you a free meal mm, because of mm. that but surprisingly yeah. but then do they on get that a bad note review? since you raised that topic up right yeah. on mm. that note actually a lot of companies still do it yes they still do it because for some reason uh they do see that these people sure draw sure of course there, yes yes yeah. you know and that's the company's decision and yeah. Yeah, that's fine yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah. yeah but in this case I think yeah. Yeah, the but as I said, you know, I, it's I, I'm, I'm an entertainer, right? So you guys know that mm. that I, I'm also exposed to these things. You know, I don't need to have the exposure anymore. But there's a lot of young people out there who are just starting out. Yes, yes. And they and and these guys throw this line as bait, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which is real. Yeah. They mean to do it. But yeah. but think about it. When you look at the entertainment industry, I mean, it, it's. Not You're both apples in to it. apples, but when yeah. you look at all these contests, yes, which yes. are so famous, I mean, whether it's American Idol and then became Singapore yeah, Idol, yeah. and everybody starts as a contestant, a contestant, yeah. an amateur, and yeah. then look where they go to. You yeah, know? yeah. So I think it is a form; it has got validity I mean, to it. Yeah. Anyway, so from that on, moving on down to that yeah. wonderful speech by, uh, uh, you know, by Daryl David mm. in Parliament. Um, and he was talking about uh, oh, He was very passionate about things Yes, yes He was talking about You know, that a change is required In the education system He was talking about how some people s- Local Singaporeans who, who went out there and, and, you know, excelled in, for example, sports mm-hmm. um, And brought the country to a certain You know, brought the name of the country yeah, forward yeah. Right? 
Uh, I'm, I'm very proud to say that my, one of my uh, namesakes and related to me was mentioned in Daryl's uh, speech. And well done, Irving Henson. Uh, he broke the world record for bench press. Mm. Oh. And he went to the US alone mm. and he literally carried the flag on his our flag mm. on his back well done uh, yeah. you know um and uh, not much was i mean it was reported in the channel channel news asia article i think there was a small snippet in st uh, but what daryl was saying is like come on look at these guys yeah guys like him and not just him even the culinary kings that we've got homegrown talents yeah um and we should not be looking at an education model where education model where everyone's tested and examined by their scores and grades and GPAs. He did say that perhaps we could do something about uh, project work instead. People like some people who are not that academically inclined actually would thrive in real projects, you yes. know, the, the, in that kind of an yeah. environment. He also brought up an important point, which is that uh, Singapore's education system is very exam oriented so you are really gauged by how you do at exams mm. and he said which i agree with is that exams only capture really you at one moment in time yes you have to study for it but you know he's an educator himself he was a lecturer yes. at polytechnic, polytechnic for, yeah. for, for i think about 12 Six, years yeah, yeah. yeah. 16 years 16 years, 16 yes, years. yes you know so he's got Straight a background from on pyramid this. game yes Remember? that's right <laughs> yeah actually i wasn't in singapore at that time but yes uh so I think that this is a very valid <laughs> thing, is that he, what he said is that it's very important that the uh, Ministry of Education look at broader grading systems. No, yeah. Don't just focus, uh, that will focus more on coursework uh, rather than just the final grade at the examination. Um, and redefining excellence is not about celebrating uh, mavericks, uh, but mastery in a chosen field. Giving mm. uh, He gave examples of sport and gastronomy. Mm. So yeah. mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. that's a very important thing. I think what Daryl is articulating is what people have been saying for a long time now. Because it's even more important now as we bring about a generational change in our education system. So in a way that young people can get equipped with the right skill sets for the future. I mean, this change is necessary. I think he's spot on because this directly connects to, again, the raging debate of why our youth don't always get their fair slice of jobs yeah. in the MNCs. Yeah. So if you equip them with this kind of thinking, yes, the creativity, yes, exactly. the coursework, yeah, yeah. Then you, and you marry it with academics, which you can't absolutely do away with, yeah. this will form a very good union to be able to get you you know, he, he kept on saying the quilt analogy, right? So for me, I think we need to expand our thinking so that we become more like global citizens. Mm. So this kind of education is is what brings you to that level. Yeah, It's, it's so coincidental because just uh, my last episode we shot from KWC um, um, and we had I had some guests with me. I'm not going to let go so much about that episode yet because it's not yet released. But in a nutshell, we talked about this. Instead of trying to follow the models of other nations, we can also set the benchmark ourselves mm. for a few things. And I've, I've been an advocate ever since COVID started, especially for the entertainment uh, world mm -hmm. in Singapore. Mm -hmm. And what Daryl said, and I was glad, finally, finally in Parliament, somebody raised this and i was i was kind of very pleasantly surprised mm. when when i was watching that entire uh, 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 video of mm. his uh, speech and he said look at korea you have boy bands like you know bts and and all these and the entertainment industry in south korea is like take them off you know yeah. taking the world by storm why can't we also have a focus on the arts and more than just the usual traditional, you know, a uh, 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 segment of the arts scene in Singapore. Go a little further, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we developed. There's so much talent, which is true, and I've been saying this over and over and mm -hmm. over again mm -hmm. throughout a lot of my episodes. Mm -hmm. Look, as 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 far as I'm concerned, I'm just waiting for the day where every product from the Singapore education system, you know, is acknowledged for their global excellence. Yeah. We need now from yes. people from here yeah. to reach those levels 
where they are globally I, yeah. accepted and that's when you really feel our education yeah. system and i works. think it's so important and and chris had touched on this earlier is that we don't just measure success uh by a very narrow uh, uh, viewpoint of it being academics that there are people who may not be academically Could inclined but who can do things in the culinary world yeah. who can do things in sports who but, can do things in other but ways I, nobody's so look, I look at it in one way. I mean, you were saying, okay, Daryl said it in Parliament. But like I said, it's been going on for a while now. It is being articulated. At one point of time, literature wasn't given so much importance. Yes, in the, yes it's been brought back. There's a lot more theatre going on, lots of activities. The whole art scene has become so yeah, vibrant Yeah, but you know now. what is the missing link so far? I mean, the government is pushing this, which is I'm glad to yes, see, yes. right? It's the parents. Yeah. Because the parents will still have great difficulty accepting when the child does not do well in school, but says, I want to be an artist. But, 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 but Gilbert, I have to say this slowly and steadily, it is changing. But you guys got to hang on here. because what, I, I'm sorry to stop you here, Daisy, yeah. because I think it is still very prevalent now. Why? I've interviewed musicians. I've interviewed DJs, mm -hmm. club DJs. I've interviewed... Uh, tattoo artists and I asked them all the same question would you encourage anyone young a young person to do what you do mm. surprisingly I've got some who say no mm. why cannot make money which is very sad but yeah. they love what they do yes okay the other factor is those who teach these disciplines yeah and they go, parents come to me and say, my son wants to learn how to play the drums. And they told me, can you please discourage him from learning <laughs> from you? Yeah. And it's, you're right. And it's still prevalent till this day. Yeah. Um, and, you, and this is where, when looking at this on my screen right now, Daryl David's speech, Singapore's model of meritocracy has to evolve and change. Yep. Yes, yeah. it has to. Because I've got friends whose kids, uh, have when they discover that when they're about 11, 12 years old, they're good at certain things, but it is not so mooted here in Singapore, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like painting. Yeah. But the kid's excellent at it. You yes. know? And they fly them to, to Oz, to Australia, and they graduate, they study there all the way up to university and graduate yeah. in that discipline. Yeah. Yeah. And they are lauded and applauded by the people of Australia. Yeah. But they are Singaporean kids. Yeah. And so I the point, yeah. I agree with it, but I am already saying baby steps have started. I yeah, 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 of course. And I think that if the government so? throws its oh, yes. weight oh, behind yes. it, if the government throws its weight ah. behind it, that will help convince the parents. Because the parents always see, are just... Gilbert, listen to me. Yeah. You look back a little bit and you see, look at the number of art schools now. Mm -hmm. And there are waiting lists. Whether you want to get into SOTA, there is a waiting list. Yeah. The auditions that you have to go through, the entry level, which speaks very well sure, of what sure. is happening. Yeah. You How see? many I schools do, do we have no, that's yeah. uh, doing no, this? So look, uh, for, a, for a population of 5.8 million, yeah. we have already started. What I'm saying is we are moving in the right direction. I would just Between want to Lassan, echo what Nafa. Gilbert said. Gilbert used the word if, and I concur. If, it's still a wait and see. I hope that whatever Daryl has said in Parliament, that the government w will yes. and you know come what gives in me hope? and push this. Yes, is that the Prime Minister highlighted this. Mm. Yes, 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 mm. correct. Mm. Yes, it so was it's on, not in, on his uh, post. Exactly, on his yes. post. Yeah. And that means something. Yes. Because there's a okay. lot of things that MPs Granted. will bring up. If the PM says, listen to him, that's important. Granted. Yes. 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 So let's so see, yes. because we all believe the same thing. I really yeah. hope and so. And we are yes. on the right and track. And that we so don't go. just evaluate educational success as the only yeah. means of yeah. success. Because mm. Singapore can still be rock and roll town, man. You lead the yeah, way. you said party, right? We had Swing Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> another kind of party, you know. The yeah, poor, so we're going to talk about another kind of Our poor interns party. right there, they've never felt what Swing Singapore, I've seen or experienced Swing Singapore. <laughs> but we had fun, man. Oh, what swing yes, Singapore? We did. Swing Singapore. We oh, swung. That? You're not joking, man. You've been away that long. Huh? I was away for 20 years. What was swing Singapore? Okay, when swing was it? Swing Singapore. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Before we move on to the next topic, I love this topic. 
Swing Singapore when Prime when Mr. Go Chok Tong was Prime Minister, ah. and the very first Swing Singapore occurred along the entire stretch of Orchard Road, from like a block party. Mate, it was not. I can't even call it a block party because it started from where the Marriott is, stretched all the way down to Raffles City, and every hundred meters or so is a cherry picker with a DJ on top. The whole stretch closed down the whole road for us to party. The whole Singapore partying. Two hundred. It was like a disco, 000. outdoor disco. Yes. Ah, okay. okay. And then uh, it not dreamed. live performances. Huh? Did you dream? No, it didn't. No, it was and not live performances. <laughs> there were as well. Uh, okay. It's, uh, certain this parts, live. What, certain year, when, what year was this? In the 90s? Oh, man. Uh, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe eight, late 80s, 89. Okay. Yeah, uh, no. And then after that, there was another Swing Singapore. Then after that, the last one we had was the Millennium Countdown. Yes, that one. And that was a yes. massive, massive street party. That ah, Same yes. thing. The whole stretch. And man, we knew how to enjoy ourselves. We knew how to have fun. We had great bands that were playing, you know, uh, bands that were making waves, were not just there? in Singapore. Oh, I he was, was kind of young still. These uh, were the guys, I said it so often in so many episodes of KWC. These are the guys that influenced me, uh, right? People that if I see them, I can't even walk in their shadow. Like John Molina. John's mm. my age, so let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, Sorry, John, but I gotta say that. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we should move on to the yes. other party. Yep. Let's talk about this party. Uh, and this party is uh, started like about. Well, it, it didn't start off very well, did it? But it ended up very well. Uh, and it's about uh, this foreign domestic worker. Her name is Party Viani, and she was actually charged and sentenced initially for theft of a former employer. And, and and it went up uh, to the appeals court. And now she's been acquitted of all charges. Yes. Because well, the uh, the appeals court, the, the magistrate, actually found some discrepancies, discrepancies. in in uh, in what the in, in the prosecu what the prosecution uh, 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 established. Yeah. Right? And I'm not gonna go there too deep into that. But the big story is today is that um, could it be that there was false accusation from a former employer? She was deployed, though, into working for the employer's son, mm -hmm. which isn't allowed by manpower law. Yeah. Um, and now this is a big uh, brouhaha going on yes. amongst uh, people in Singapore and netizens and all talking about this subject. What do you have to say about this, Gilbert? Uh, you know, I think that uh, there are so many different issues at play here. Mm -hmm. uh, I think one of the most important really is about the powerlessness of uh, certain segments of our society, yeah. especially when they are accused of anything by people who are much more powerful than them. And much they more don't, powerful than us. Yes. And, you know, but it doesn't even have to be that because even if it's a normal Singaporean employer, who accuses a foreign domestic worker of something? There's already a power imbalance there. Yeah. And uh, one of the 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 the, the situation, one of the, the 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 problems is that very often the foreign domestic worker has got no resources mm. to go and look for help. You know, yeah, they can't afford lawyers. Apparently, Party didn't even tell her family back home. Yes, yes. That she's been going through this. Yes, you know. Yes. Because it would just make this, them worry. We're gonna give yeah. this lady, you know, hundred hundred marks, man, yeah. for guts. And resolve, don't yeah. you think? Absolutely. And and definitely, you know. So so I think that's one big issue is the the imbalance of power there. Uh, I'm very glad for the migrant workers um, organizations like Hope, uh, home. Uh, home, uh, which which uh, give hope, you know, <laughs> uh, and 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 protection and advice. And they're the ones who looked for the lawyer, mm -hmm. and the lawyer was singled out by the high court judge. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah, he was praised. Actually, he was praised. Yeah, know, he was for his pro bono work for four years. Yeah, man, Anil that's Bajandani. really yeah. Yeah, Anil Bachandani. So well done. Son. Yeah. Well done, Anil Baltindani. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I truly, truly feel that this is a really proud moment for Singapore in our legal history. Yes. Because yes. this was a drama which was very just straightforward, David versus and got Goliath. Goliath. And you it's know? good to see that the legal system worked in this case Absolutely. the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to, you know. Well, yeah, and I but think it's, but in the minds of a lot of people, I think it's very important for people to keep in mind that these things can happen and probably exactly. happen again. But exactly. You know? And you see, and don't it's have amazing a lawyer. because this one case, like you said, 
has just laid bare the inadequacies in the processes of our investigative and our justice system. Yes. And we cannot have a system where the police, the forensic, the courts, they are reacting with deference to the rich and the powerful. I mean, while the less fortunate just become voiceless. But on a happy that note... That is scary. That on is a happy scary. note, I, it's also great to see a lot of people come forward and donate it to the cause. Mm -hmm. You notice altruism here. Besides... Mr. Anil Baltindani, I mean, I mean, the guy, that guy takes a cake, you know. Yeah. Hundreds of pages of, yeah. of documents to 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 collate and go through, Two and years, four and, years and you know, time. and he also took it upon himself to see to seek advice from some senior lawyers yes, who yes. didn't want to take up the case, yeah. but mm. two of them, I'm not going to mention names here, but they two of him. them helped him, yeah. gave him advice. You know, this man went. All out. Yeah, yeah, really. He really, really did. And yeah. the best part is the firm he comes from, Red Lion Circle, they refused to take credit for this. Mm. They, they kept saying that, look, the people who work hard, who really are the grunts on the ground for this, are the people from the Humanitarian Organization for Migration Econ Economics. Yes, home. yes. Yeah. Yeah. And he praised them instead. So I, 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 I'm reading all these articles yeah, about this. Yeah. I go, my goodness, this guy... It's but you know, Chris, I want to talk a bit also about um, Mr. Uh, Liu Man Leong. Ah. Now, for me, in this whole case, what came out was a couple of things. Of mm. course, the David, David versus Goliath, very, very clear. Yes, a lot of strength, lot of courage. But what is also important is when, with somebody as powerful as the chairman of the Changi, the, the, the yeah. airport group. When doubt is cast over that person's integrity, that person's morals, this can slowly percolate and bring on disrepute to the organization mm -hmm. itself. So the question that I want to say is, what are we going to do about that? Mm -hmm. The next step, yes, this is, we rejoice in our system. Oh my God, it, the faith that you have and you see people like us, the system worked. Mm -hmm. Yes, a little bit later, but it worked. Yeah. But now the step is, what are they going to do to sure. rectify? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, you know, I mean, I think you everyone from the law minister on has correct, already said correct. that they're going to be looking no, closely and investigating. Are they, but not only the processes. Yeah. Yeah. When you frame someone deliberately, yeah. when you, with knowledge that I'm doing this and this is wrong, yeah. and you might have just got away with it, what happens then? Well, there are definitely penalties. There are definitely penalties there, and which are written is in the law. what we need to yeah. see. Because, you know, just two years ago, there was another case, much, much less publicized, Correct. when a, uh, a, a homeowner accused her domestic helper of theft. Stealing, and yes. Planted of, of, it was in 2016. Yeah. Yes, 2016. Yes, yes, 2016. And that, that lady, she herself came up, came forward and confessed to the police because she felt guilty mm. uh, about planting the, 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 the fake theft evidence okay. Okay. Uh, Pendant, yeah yeah but she she was jailed she was, yeah, she was so the question then is that after of course the processes will be looked at why did the police do this yes, why yes, didn't exactly. they do the correct thing you see will yeah. they have the courage again different kind of courage now we expect from our leaders yeah. that are you going to see this through because Temasek quickly came up and said we need to appreciate his contributions oh, of course we do yeah Contributions don't go yes, away. that's irrelevant, actually. But it what is. about yeah. integrity? Yeah, of course. What about course. morals? Yes, yes. And, uh, you know, I mean, I do think, again, this being Singapore and this being, again, such a publicized case, mm. that they will dot all the I's and cross all the T's in the investigations. And that's what I love yeah, about this thing. country. Because I can say definitely in many, many other countries, <laughs> they would, they, they, exactly. they would be just... And, yeah. and you know, when you read the case in the beginning, when she was yeah. uh, going to be sent to jail, it just reeks of feeling, uh, yeah, that means ultimately, you know, if you're rich and powerful, yeah. that's it. But you yeah. know what I think, guys? I'm just wondering, you know what's really bugging me about this whole thing is that, well, I don't know why Tamasik had to say what well, yeah. this, the because chief executive was because the reporter what he had to asked say. him and yeah. he replied to a reporter. And I don't know yeah. why the reporter had to ask him that yes, question yes. to begin uh, with. the law minister? No, 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 not no. Uh, the, 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 the chief executive for ah, CEO of uh, uh, yeah. You know, uh, I, I, why, why did you even have to ask this guy this? And I'm, this is, yeah. this is a bit funny. And secondly, you know, it's because Man Leong is. Uh, but the, the worst part is, yeah, Man Leong, he's uh, should uh, not be silent. 
Because it, it, there's been no comment. From Changi the Arts Group, there's no comment also. Sorry, from who? I mean, from the Changi Airport yes, Group, from CAG. there is no, yeah. there's no comment, comment from them either. Silent. And I think sometimes the worst thing to do is to remain silent. I think also they but need to wait consent. until the investigations are done. No, I don't think that's you necessary know? because you, where ju good journalism is concerned, right? I mean, if, if a journalist... Not journalism, but I'm talking about the group itself. Yeah, I know, but, but you know? I'm pretty sure, I, I really so, hope so, yeah. that these our journals today are Correct. good enough. Right. So. No, but that's precisely uh, what I said. And they should be asking yeah. for comments, should Correct. be pressing for comments. Because yeah. it, it affects the whole group. If the person on the top, it's like our leaders, you cannot have a stain, right? I mean, every time something, somebody defames you, you go out and sue that person because there should be no mm. stain mm. on the leadership. It's yeah, but I also think that situation. obviously, yeah, we have to be careful simply because there are a lot of good people who have nothing to do with this, who work for this Changi Airport group right, and all of right, that, you know? Right. And yeah, so. No, we're not saying that this, <laughs> we're not, we're not. I, I don't think it's good to s is, is 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 right to speculate that just because of one person the rest of them are yeah, all yeah, 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 no, yeah. no 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 yeah, absolutely yeah. That's not, not yeah, yeah. but the point is is that I, I think it's I I I think that PR people got to get things right here mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. and go to them and say guys I you also cannot think that because you this cannot is stay an, silent yeah, forever I think it's also know? because this At is an unprecedented some statement in yes. Singapore yeah yes. make a statement yes. yeah. it's uh, you never had right. Something like this like before this, like we this. did in Singapore. I mean, not not specific to this, but no, don't but forget the, the old golden taps. Yeah, but that's different no, in that sense. Yeah, uh, he yeah, did no. a lot of work. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but right. what I'm saying is that within Singapore's uh, stat boards and you know these big government yeah. companies. No, but uh, you if know. you see his achievements, yeah, I mean Man Leong's achievements. Yeah. I mean, he got the highest accolades in yes, this yes, land yes, exactly and that's why the case becomes even more pronounced i yeah, mean yeah, actually yeah. if you look at it like a hollywood or a bollywood film you're looking at this poor maid and nobody wants to take on your yeah. case I'm, because I'm curious though, who because wants to who stand was up the one who actually these? called the police wasn't it his son they yeah. did they did oh, wait, obviously someone one person must be called they did they did, they did. They did. Uh, yeah. because she wanted to report uh because th the son gave her you got to pack up. You have to, in two hours. You're leaving yeah. Singapore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she and she got upset. She said, "You know, why don't you just let me stay and I find and another employer?" Yeah, you know, I mean, and and she might and she, not so she said, "I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna yeah. launch she a report." Yeah, to, it's to not related to this case, but it's worth noting, I think, that two years ago, mm. on oh no, 2016 rather, uh, the son was in another high court case mm -hmm. uh, that. He, mm. he was found liable for over six point nine million dollars in guarantees and bank was made a bankrupt, and um, the judge called him out for quote unquote being a deceitful uh, witness. You know, mm. so I think that just Talks something about character. Yeah, character. Oh boy, you know, yeah. that's well, I'm not going to step on that. Yeah, now. yeah, exactly. So you <laughs> no, know, but because if yeah. we are just uh, look. We are not lawyers. Yeah, yeah. We're just looking at what is happening out there. And I look at it as though you're, you're you know, you, you're observing, you're watching, yes, you're, yes, you're sharing yes, yeah. our experiences, our opinions with those who are listening. Yeah. And this is something that happened. That's factual. Yeah, yeah. Now, whether you take that and add it and what conclusion you come to yeah. is I different. Mean, like I said, the two cases are not linked at all. Yeah. But it is interesting to note that this individual has had this kind of a situation but before. But correct, correct. Yeah. But you know, just to, to on, on this topic, just to bring this, bring back what we spoke about not long ago. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, remember that we, we talked about the kid that threw something at the uh, uh, his helper mm. and broke her yes. nose. Yes. Ah, yes, the mug. Yeah. Yeah. And then now, I mean, and then we have this sort of cases like this. We got to, I'm just hoping Singaporeans just stop. I, don't, I, don't, I can't generalize this, but it's happening too, it's too prevalent already. Mm. Let's stop bullying people. Yeah. Um, uh, and I and just cannot imagine how scared party, for example. Yeah, yeah. How scared she must have been. I think that, you know, when we talked last week, was it last week about the media? I think it was. Yeah, it was, it was. Yeah. You know, I think that that still stands. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know? How is the, it we keep talking about these topics? No, because it is so prevalent. You know, so often, our, right? Yeah, so prevalent. It's so unfortunate. It is the powerful preying on the powerless, it's people who are bullying, you know? And that really needs to stop. And, you know, even as we speak right now, I know that there are many. 
uh, foreign domestic workers who are under the thumb of their less than kind, employers. you know, employers, employers yeah. um, and and going through things, you know, mm. uh, and that's why I think that the migrant worker organisations are so important to to help them, you know. Yeah. So and thank God and, for and, and, people and thank like God Anil. for yes, yes, people like Anil. Thank mm. goodness yes, for thank people goodness like him. There's still hope in Singapore's humanity. Oh yes, yes, yes. no, <laughs> okay. and, the, and the legal yeah. system. Yes, and the, the judge. System. Oh yes. wow! Kudos yeah. to the judge. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. Stood up and wrote hundred pages and said, "Go for it, man!" Yeah. Yeah. Everybody started teetering, yes. running, yes. doing what Definitely. is needful. Yes. That's I what think that and you know, I, I mean, that, that was, was also brilliant. an act of courage there for the yes. judge yes. to stand 100 up. Hundred pages. Yeah, exactly. I, 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 I mean, and now we know yeah, that we can, we, we still can really trust our judicial system. Yes, and that's and let due process take its course. I'm pretty sure that the relevant authorities are looking into this matter. Yes. Um, and, uh, well, yeah, I have to echo the sentiment of uh, law minister by saying let's not start a witch hunt. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. No, but so let's move on now to something else. Really? Do we want to? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> do we really want to? I think because oh we have about five minutes left. Yeah, we have five minutes, but yeah. do we really want to? Yeah. Um, because I really think we should leave these two alone. people alone. <laughs> yeah, well, unfortunately, they've already Gilbert been mentioned. Oh, but maybe just Gilbert's know. going for it. No, but I'm, I'm going, going for it because I think there's going for it. He's no. going for it, man. I think it's because there's an important point to be made here. For okay. those of you who are wondering what the hell we're babbling about, <laughs> you know, there was um, something on our our less <sighs> than. Um, well, let's say our salacious journalism, uh, citizen journalism site, uh, website. You um, mean the voyeurs? Yes. Well, right. Yes, exactly. Mm. The voyeurs and the, the voyeurs and the complainers mm. and, and all of that. Um, there was a couple um, well into <laughs> middle age who were... What do you mean well into middle age, mate? This is old age. This is not middle age. I'm looking at the pictures now. I didn't look that closely. <laughs> I don't even have to look closely, man. They were spotted engaging in intimate... Well into middle age means old age. (laughs) Okay. They were spotted engaging in intimate and quote-unquote obscene behaviour on the rooftop garden of McPherson Residency's multi-storey car park uh, around 3.30 in the afternoon um, where they were basically doing a lot of um, interesting examinations of each other. Yes, (laughs) Yes, <laughs> I think they do look like their pioneer generation, but you know, uh, and and unfortunately they were photographed. Um, I was for about two hours, I think, right? So it was not even um, oh a short, short, short time, basically. Um, <laughs> it's not a short time, yeah. <laughs> Gilbert, Gilbert, Gilbert. No, but but so what was yeah. the point? You oh no, to over make one Gilbert? hour. It brought daylight. Gilbert. So, so that, okay, so, so that's short yeah, time. <laughs> okay, so the reaction of a lot of people though is first of all, it's like okay, you shouldn't be doing this in public. Okay, which I think is yeah, it's fine. Don't do this in public. But also, people are talking about the age of these people, which I think is wrong. Because yes, I really think that no matter what age you are, you exactly. have every right and kudos for having that kind of. Exactly, passion. adventurous yes. uh, passion. Yeah. It's only but that maybe the venue, the venue the in public, yes, and exactly. Three thirty in the afternoon, it could be a bit. Yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. What yeah, I don't like know. with what some people are saying, you're so old, you know, and all this, and don't you don't but do this kind of thing. Uh, exactly, all. exactly. People are saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but what does yeah, age got to do? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I mean, okay, come on, come on, people, face facts. If you could still have the passion for intimacy. And when you are pi- when you're at that kind of senior age, count yourself lucky. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And stop saying I, that I just because people are you. old doesn't mean they don't have a sex life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sure, they or, shouldn't or, be or bringing it out in broad yeah. daylight. Yeah, exactly. But I give them a hundred marks, man, because I'm pretty sure some of these people who are talking and making fun of them. You mean you haven't done this outdoors <laughs> before? <laughs> or they could Bullshit. be jealous <laughs> that they're not getting any. <laughs> Oh, yeah, seriously, yeah. you know, very come often on, that's the thing. Come on, so I, I totally agree with you. I feel there should be no age bar yeah. to do. I mean, we're not going to talk about the oh, it's obscene. Is, they're doing yeah. it outside. Maybe, not, yeah. No, maybe, it's not about yeah. that. Yeah, maybe not. That. And and taking pictures. Yeah. And then posting it. Yeah, exactly. I think that's that kind of spitefulness. Goes, yeah, you know, yeah. and th- I'm asking about this guy yes, who, who took this. the shot yes, exactly. and took the pictures. I mean, you having fun watching them, huh? Yeah, exactly. So For you an hour. take shots. Yeah. 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 Oh, so I'm you, so disgusted. So Let me get a better view. So you sit there and stand there yeah. and watch them doing the do. Yeah, uh, doing exactly. the do for an hour. Are you yeah. kidding me? Yeah. Now, who is the obscene person here? <laughs> you are the perv, you dude. Yep. Yeah. The voyeur. You voyeur. Yes. 
Yeah. So I love the fact that it says Storm will not be uploading the videos due to the obscene nature. So well, yeah, but I'm pretty Ooh, sure that guy. He took well. video as yeah, well. Yeah, video. Yeah, bloody peeping Tom. Uh, so auntie uncle more power to you yeah man but all the auntie, auntie uncles uncle, out there but just uncle, yeah try and just get just the hotel remember, 81 yeah, i yeah, tell yeah. you 80, 81, is it? Yeah. when <laughs> i grow up i must be like them <laughs> yes okay closing words i think don't grow up for a while now it's okay chris <laughs> <laughs> i'm stuck between the two adults here closing words i would like to start <laughs> oh yeah, okay words. here we go okay <laughs> yes yes this is not omar Khayyam. oh, oh okay. really this i'm disappointed not, uh, what yeah, do you say about public sex but this is got to do what Actually, you know what? I've never really uh, researched what Omar Khayyam has to do with public sex. But I want to touch on the topic of party because I just am so heartened and, and again, at the cost of repeating myself, putting the faith in our legal system. Yeah. And I want to just quote something by Malcolm Gladwell who says, when people in authority want the rest of us to behave, it matters. First and foremost, how they behave. Yes. And that is what I'd like to say as a closing statement. And I will find out what Omar Khayyam <laughs> has to say about it. And I will share it with you guys next time. This Omar Khayyam thing is getting us down, man. And nobody, nobody knows why. And these two guys just laugh every time they open the mouth about Omar Khayyam. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's important that you practice what you preach. Yes, absolutely. Uh, okay, so it's my turn because you're closing yes. the show today. First of all, I've got two things to say. First, I have a quote to say. That's gonna, I'm going to end off with a quote, but I'm going to say this. For goodness sake, please, God, don't let Donald Trump win the Nobel <laughs> Peace Prize. I want to <gasps> vomit. No, he was okay. nominated by a right-wing politician <laughs> who is an anti-Semite, so that says everything. <laughs> and you need to pray I to God to for that? I want to vomit, but man. No. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Don't, don't take thy Lord, the God's name in vain. Hello, don't no, quote the first really commandment hoping. to me. I'm really praying to God. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's my quote. And it's from a great composer, Bert Bacharach. Mm, mm. I love. And this is my message. Do you know the way to San Jose? Oh, goodness me. You sounded like Dion Warwick for a, sec for a while. Mm. Okay. Go on, share, share. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. Ah, I know this. What the is world the, needs uh, now is, it, hello, is love. Can you please don't talk while I'm interrupting? <laughs> no. Sorry. Isn't it that simple? So? See, I've got to do this all over yeah, again. Go ahead. Sorry. This is what happens when I'm yes. stuck between two adults. Okay. Adults, they, don't, they only talk, don't listen. Okay, so, right. so, yes. go, sorry. sorry. Yeah, okay. One more time, huh? Bird back right. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's just too little of. So what the world needs now is love, sweet love. No, not just for some, but for everyone. Can I Amen. sing it? Very good. Can I sing it now? Because that's the song. Yeah, she's going to sing it. It's that. Yes. Well, the world Wonderful. Needs okay. Love. So yeah. love, my closing words basically love. would be in reference to the uh, older couple and to all older <laughs> people out there and to everyone. <laughs> just keep this in mind, which I really do believe is that you are not old until regrets take the place of dreams. Oh, nice. So keep dreaming, mm -hmm. keep striving, keep reaching, mm -hmm. uh, and be safe and be kind. And yes. stay away be, from the blue pill. Yes, be kind. Blue pill. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Leave Thank your comments. You. Yes. Subscribe, like, and we'll see you next week on another episode. Love you guys. Namaste. Bye-bye. Yes. Namaste. Bye-bye. <laughs>